started shopping. Yeah, remember the last biggest sale of the year? Clover got so into it, she nearly passed out from dehydration in the dressing room. What I can't understand is why they hand out bottled water at something as silly as a marathon, but not at the biggest sale of the year. Alex! Sorry, Clover. It's just that Troy is such a hottie, I, I just can't take my eyes off him. This week on Troy's Body. Alex, every year you get a crush on some actor who you think is like the greatest guy in the world. So, what's wrong with that? Hello, he's just acting. Please? It's like so known that Troy is the sweetest, most perfect guy in the whole world. Okay, who says we don't have women in space? I know you guys are only looking out for me. But if we could only ah. meet Troy, you'd see how kind and wonderful and gentle he really is. Oh, hey, what gives? I can't believe we're getting whooped during the biggest sale of the year. Good morning, ladies. Looks like you've literally shopped till you've dropped, eh? All I can say is you better not have pulled us away to do your laundry, Jerry. We have just learned that top athletes from around the world are mysteriously vanishing. Do you have any idea how this is happening, Jerry? All we have to go on is footage of this race car driver in Florida. That's the same blue flash we saw surrounding the athletes in the other clips. But the driver didn't disappear. It's your mission, girls, to go to Florida, protect the driver, and find out what's making these athletes vanish into thin air. Any questions? Just one. Do those cute silver jumpsuits come in size six? The gadgets you'll be using on this mission include an electromagnetic sensitive video camera, sapphire hologram pendants, <gasps> microscopic retracting goggles for clues that are invisible to the naked eye, and the latest in virtual reality disguise belts. Uh -huh. This is so cool. You can go straight from the gym to school or the prom with the push of a button. <clears throat> now, for your transportation to Florida, we're giving you Kurt. Kurt? Is he a chauffeur? I hope he's cute and likes to shop. Kurt stands for Clunky Incognito Radical Thought Transporter. I named him, uh, I mean, him, myself. You've got to be kidding. Not to worry, girls. Kurt is in incognito mode. By simple voice command, you girls better get on your way. Black girls, or as they say in Japan, ko umo inoru. How embarrassing. We need to lose this clunker and get something a little more sporty. Starting to like Kurt. Who are you calling a groupie? Listen here, miss, whoever you are. How rude! The studio just turned me down for tickets to the taping of Troy's show. Okay, shh. Remember, we're journalists. Act professional. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Parks, we're journalists from Teen Racer magazine. Would you be a dear and tell us what you remember from the incident the other day? Sure. I really don't remember much, except a course for the flash of light that made me lose control of the car. I almost hit that photographer. What photographer? He came and left on a motorcycle. That's all I know. If y'all will excuse me, I got a publicity photo shoot in about five minutes. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? That Dale's accent totally reminds me of Troy? Alex, please. I'm thinking that the photographer Dale mentioned might have something to do with this. Come on, let's check the track for clues. Well, if that photographer had anything to do with this, he sure didn't leave us any clues. Great, now what do we do? Let's stick close to Dale during the photo shoot and keep an eye out for that photographer on the motorcycle. I'll tell you what, I'll stick close to Dale while you keep an eye out for the motorcycle guy. <laughs> I've always 
wanted to be a paparazzi. <laughs> Sam, look! <laughs> the smoke bomb's a diversion! Clover, watch Dale! <laughs> Dale's right here. Hey, there's something wrong with this camera. It's making Dale look all faded. <laughs> Major road rage? Who is that guy and what did he do to Alex? That's what we're gonna find out. Remember, Clover? What? That is so lame. I'm telling Jerry Kurt needs a serious makeover. Well, we got bigger issues, like finding out what happened to Alex and Dale. <gasps> Hello? Help! Alex? I'm on some kind of racetrack in the creepiest looking desert I've ever seen. <laughs> ah! My comp powder! We got company. left. Huh? Alex? Alex? Come in, Alex! It's no use. Quick, let's check out the footage from the camera for clues. Look! The camera picked up electromagnetic rays coming from that device. Of course! That would explain why Dale didn't disappear the first time. The silver jumpsuit must have deflected those rays. I knew there was a reason I liked that jumpsuit. I think we better call Jerry and let him know what we found. Hello, girls. How's the mission coming along? Not great, Jer. Alex and Dale have been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Oh my, how can I help? Clover's camera picked up some kind of electromagnetic ray that apparently downloaded Alex and Dale into an electronic device. A machine that can download people? Let's see, I do vaguely remember hearing something a few years back about a woman game designer who claimed she had designed such a device. Yes, yes, here it is. A Carla Wong, better known as the Lady Dragon. Finally, an evil villain who isn't bitter about being dissed or something. It says here that the Lady Dragon left the video game industry several years ago because they refused to make some of her more eccentric games. Figures. So, how do we find this Lady Dragon? You can always use the indestructible homing device in Alex's comp powder to track her. We're on it, Jerry. <laughs> leading right to that hotel over there. Let's go. I hope they have nice bathrooms. That's another improvement to be added on Kurt's makeover list. <laughs> Video game trade show? I think what they mean is geek land. I believe the proper term is computer enthusiasts. Come on, the signal leads upstairs. The signal leads to that room. like the motorcycle guy's outfit from the racetrack. <clears throat> Can I help you, ladies? Uh, 
uh, Miss, uh, Lady Dragon. We love your games. We're like your biggest fans. We are? <coughs> so, uh, how come you stopped making games? Because of certain short-sighted fools who couldn't grasp my revolutionary <laughs> vision. But now that I am back with a new line of games, those who oppose me will see the error of their ways. In fact, if you will wait here, I will give you a demonstration. I don't know how, but those girls followed me from the racetrack. Tell everyone to keep their eyes out for them. I've come too far to have anyone interrupt my plans. Sam, what are you doing? This isn't time to be playing video junkie. Clover, look at this poster for the Lady Dragon's new game. That looks just like the desert Alex described. Yeah, come on. We've got to get inside this investor meeting. Sorry, invitation only. Hey, pal, you're looking at major investor material right here. Hey. Don't these two look like the girls the Lady Dragon told us to watch out for? Get them! Huh? Where'd they go? These virtual reality belts are totally awesome. How do I look? Do the words hair restoration mean anything to you? My new technique for enhancing realistic gameplay is so incredible, you'll feel like you're playing against real people. and Dale are in the game. Clear the room. We've given them enough of a taste to whet their appetites. Besides, we must hurry to the warehouse to download the new athletes and prepare for mass production. Did you hear that? We've got to tell Jerry about the Lady Dragon downloading more athletes. But what about Alex and Dale? You two! <laughs> Guard the room and make sure nobody gets near the game. We've got to get them out. Maybe I can crash the system. Huh? It's Alex. Stay behind me. Any time. Clover, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you have the joystick upside down. As if that matters. <laughs> Uh, Sam, bad news. These power packs are losing juice fast. <gasps> well, if it isn't my two biggest fans. We know you've been kidnapping athletes and downloading them into your games, Lady Dragon. We're here to put an end to it. Unfortunately for you, there is no stopping me. Once I put my games into mass production, all the athletes will be multiplied a thousand times over, trapping them permanently. Get them. These sapphire hologram pendants better work. I think it's time we bailed, Sam. Don't just stand there, bring them back! <laughs> no ticket, no ride! Stop them! <laughs> Clover, we've got to find the Lady Dragon's warehouse and stop her from downloading more athletes. Quick, let's duck into this cute little house and call Jerry. Jerry, we need the location of the Lady Dragon's warehouse fast. I wish I could help you girls, but I've got nothing. Have you tried the wharf? The wharf, of course. That's where the warehouses always are. Why didn't we think of that? Thanks, Jerry. Oh, girls, I, I think I'm losing you. I don't know who you girls are, but you've interrupted my plans for the last time. We're disappearing! Hmm. <laughs> Alex! I didn't know you could water ski. No time for a reunion, girls. Look! What kind of sick, demented woman is this lady dragon? If you want the answer to that question, just look down. We're about to become shark bait. Hold on, girls, and follow my lead. Ah! They're coming. 
coming back, and they've brought friends! Quick, Alex, turn your outfit into a silver jumpsuit. Huh? Just do it, and hurry! It's working! You're a genius. Ah, simple, really. Just like with Dale's silver jumpsuit, electromagnetic fields can't work against a surface of deflection. Uh, yeah, right. Real simple. Now, let's get to the Lady Dragon's warehouse. Oh, wait! I forgot to give Dale my phone number. Clover, going! <laughs> this is the strangest basketball tournament I've ever seen. Yeah, where are all the fans? I'm afraid you won't be hearing the sound of screaming fans anymore. Oh, uh, Lady Dragon. I thought I told you months ago I didn't want to have anything to do with endorsing your whacked out game. Yeah, yeah, I told you that too. Silence! Yeah. This time I'm not asking. How did we ever survive without Kurt? We're too late. The athletes are already being downloaded. We've got to get them out of there. I'll go in after them. Hey! Lady Dragon! You want a piece of me? Come and get me! I don't know how you got out of the game, but I can just as easily put you back in for good. I'll see you guys in the flat. We've got to destroy the downloading machines permanently. Look out, Sam! Boys. I've got it! If we can point the downloading rays at each other, they might download themselves. Go to it, Sam. I'll keep the lizard lady busy. It appears your girls have spunk. I hate spunk. Hurry up, Sam! I can't keep this up for much longer! These things must weigh a ton! So, you girls want to play, do you? I'll just make a few adjustments that will automatically send the athletes into mass production. Ah! Hey, girls! I think this one's permanent! Sam, Alex is about to become a split personality unless we do something fast! Oh, this better work. Oh, oh that was close. Oh. Way to go, Sam. She's getting away! Only a game. Well done, girls. Oh, no! Not me! Oh! Ah! You have to admit, it was nice of Jerry to loan us Kurt so we could drive onto the studio lot without a hassle. And it's a good thing we found those extra power packs for our virtual reality disguise belts. I can't believe I'm gonna actually meet Troy! Hi, I'm Troy. Hi, I'm Troy. Hi, I'm Troy. Hi, I'm Troy. No Hi, wonder Troy's Troy. so Hi, perfect. Troy. He's computer generated. I should have known he was too good to be true. Oh, sorry, Alex. But I know a way you could visit Troy if you really want to. That's okay. Been there, done that. Sorry! Oh, that's okay. I'm Steve. I created Troy. Oh, really? I'm Alex. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh, could we have programmed a happier ending? Please, Sam. No more computer lingo for a long, long time.